Your brand stinks, buddy. I'm gonna help y'all boys on why your brand suck and actually how to get your first 1K, first 5K. And there's four main key things why your brand isn't doing what you want it to do. All right, so the first one on the list is that... All right, boom, we back to but in the video. And today, today, I got y'all with a nice swell video. Today, I got y'all. Why your brand suck? Why your brand suck? Your brand stinks, buddy. And this video is gonna help you with that. If you it basically, if you just start a clothing, if you just start a clothing man, or if you have a clothing brand, you just struggling OD. So now I'm finally gonna I'm gonna help y'all boys on why your brand suck and actually how to get your first 1k, first 5k. You know what I'm saying? Dropping all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people haven't made their first 1k in a drop, you know what I'm saying? So why your brand suck? And we were trying to get your brand up here, you know what I'm saying, set it down here. So with your brand there's four key things of why it hasn't got to where we want it to be but before we get into the video i got a quick question to ask you did you did you subscribe again make sure you subscribe hit all that good stuff for me like button comment do all that good stuff make you subscribe come on lock into it I'm trying to get to that 2k but yeah but back to what i was saying there's four main key things of why your brand isn't doing what you want it to do so we're gonna get straight into the video so the first thing first i right, so the first one on the list is that your clothes it's literally your clothes your clothes that you're making your clothes that you're making aren't good enough bro they're not good enough i got some things to help you with that first thing first the product the product is just but i'm not gonna lie your product is trash buddy you need a <laughs> you know what i mean your product stinks you need to get your product on the way because your product is just trash the clothing isn't good like the idea itself isn't good if it's not working how you want it to work that means the product isn't good you just gotta throw that in the trash bro it's okay you know what i'm saying to throw a product away i have did it plenty of time it might be the product i'm telling you on top of the product that includes the product the quality of the product when you sit there and put your clothes on the floor do they look presentable do they look good do they look i could actually wear it like do they look good quality wise like when you look at the clothes like when people when other people look at the clothes they, are they like wow do you know what i'm saying so is the quality of the clothing good make sure the quality looks amazing make sure the quality looks really really good because if you don't have good quality or if it doesn't look like you have good quality then nobody's gonna buy this clothing space is super super duper competitive now so literally you just can't make anything and just make it go you know what i'm saying so you really got to make good stuff now it's no more mediocre stuff how it wasn't like two uh how it was two, 2021 and 2022 where you could just post something and go viral no 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 that's not the case no more you actually have to make good 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 clothing so that's literally the you know what i mean Make good clothes. What are you doing to him? Make good clothes. So look, now another thing I need to mention. A lot of y'all were making out products. Y'all literally just copy each other. I just be seeing so many people copy, copy, copy. But no, they copy and they try to make it a stop. Like, like they came up with the idea, basically. Like, there's, there's no like, oh, I see that and I take inspiration from it. No, y'all literally just copying something. So I saw this um hoodie. So Capri had made this hoodie, right? I don't know if he was the first one to do it, but it just says project on it. And it's nice little wash, right? And there's rhinestone placement but the rhinestone placement is like uh spaced out a little bit so i saw that right but then i scroll right on ig i see the same thing but with somebody else's brand just swapped out and i'm just like bro first of all you copy the same shit and your shit don't look better so like why would people buy your clothing over caprice you might as well just like what are you doing bro as i mean just stop copying bro you need to be unique and you need to be wild yes take inspiration three percent rule whatever but literally you need to wow people and with that i plan on switching my brand low key or i plan on making a new brand i don't know which i want to do yet so yeah i plan on doing that or that we're dropping new pieces and just dropping good stuff you know what i'm saying because what i got right now is calm it's cool but i need to <coughs> go crazy so that's what i plan on doing so now we get on to the second one so the second one is just your marketing is doo-doo you know what i'm saying your marketing is trash bro your marketing your marketing is trash and i'm not gonna lie this ties in with the first one because bro if you have a very very good product the marketing is going to be so easy like literally the product is just going to speak for itself the marketing for the product is just going to be so easy because people just like it because the product is good once you have a really good foundation of the product the marketing just comes along but also you can't be shit at you can't be so shit at marketing like you got to know how to take good pictures and all that good stuff so and also be creative with marketing so there's a couple ways with marketing so first we got the aesthetic marketing which is putting it on the ground slideshows all that good stuff you know what aesthetic marketing is like really really aesthetic stuff like outfits of the day like just aesthetic you know what aesthetic is bro you see it all the time on your for you page come on i don't even gotta get into that marketing is just attention grabbing so it's just grabbing people's attention so there's another way of marketing i know there's one brand right 
he literally went uh, he went uh, against all guidelines and literally just running it up now. Uh, the brand is called Superstars, right? And his brand is literally just copying people and using that for marketing. So, for example, he would literally make a piece. Uh, so his so his first ever piece that blew up crazy was um, his sweatsuits that were just like Spider and it's like Spider, like Young Thug's brand. And he literally would just make TikTok saying how oh young thug is suing my brand and just getting exposure that way and yes he got a lot of hate from that but bro he got mad buyers from that so it was totally genius and now he just keep running up just doing the same method over and over again and now i just saw he's dropping like a superstar sweatsuits but denim tear type theme and now saying oh it's not really like he's copying right but it's just like a slight copy copy but you can still tell where he got it from and now he's using it as like oh denim tears is suing me Oh, I'm getting like you know what I'm saying. So that's pretty smart. That's some way you could go about it. But I mean, I wouldn't personally do that because it doesn't it doesn't build a good foundation for the brand. But if you get in sales, man, keep running it up. So now we got another another form of marketing, which just ties into everything. It's just community marketing. It's basically um doing stuff for like the um, for like, just doing good, doing good for the community. Say if I just gave um free clothes to like homeless people or like schools or like clothes. That's community marketing. You could post that. And people like when you do good for the community. So they're going to support. So when you're doing good stuff for your brand, then they're going to support. Like a brand like World Envision, they do a whole bunch of events and stuff for like kids and all that stuff. So you just want to, that's community marketing to me. You're doing good to receive good. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So yeah, I was editing this video and I just wanted to add a more thing. So another former example of like community marketing stuff, well, just trying to like spread awareness and stuff like that. Doing good basically is euphoric. So their whole like agenda is literally just mental health, mental health, mental health. So they're literally promoting the message how they're donating to mental health research and their brand is all about spreading mental health. So that's another way of marketing basically. It kind of ties into community marketing, but more of spreading the message. So that's also a thing you could do. And that's another form of marketing. Like for every sale they get, I'm pretty sure it goes to mental health research, which is really, really good for your brand. And that means more people are gonna support you. So just think about those things, right? All right, now we on to number three, the next thing. So the next thing now, we got is what you're offering right so it ties so basically one two three four it all ties in together it's literally like a train effect so like what you're off so we go product marketing and what you're offering right so your offering is your pricing right your clothing uh basically shipping time and just deals and stuff like that basically what you're offering okay you got to think about it like what are you offering okay what is your price tag right does your price match does your price tag match the price right does your shipping time match the price does everything just match right so say if i'm creating um a t-shirt right a blank t right i'm doing screen prints myself right say if i charge this regular ass screen printed blank t for like 85 dollars right now my that's my offer right 85 dollars right 85 dollars no deals and it takes forever to ship right nobody's gonna buy because that offer sucks but now let me say if i actually charge the screen printed tee that i have screen printed myself that is two to three day shipping and it's a 15 dollar tee boom i'm gonna actually have people buying now you get what i'm saying so and also if i do like oh if you buy three t-shirts you get one free that's a good offer that makes people want to okay they actually they feel as like if they buy this product they're getting more of what they're actually getting if that makes sense if that makes sense but yeah it's all about your offer right it's like what you're offering say if i create a dope ass piece right and the piece is like 150 right but the piece is hard as shit some the designer shit niggas gonna buy that shit anyway because the piece is fired so yeah you could definitely charge at that and then also you could run pre-order on that junk and since the piece is so hard people are willing to wait for the pre-order because it's a hard piece so like you just got to understand your offering and what you're offering and if people are actually going to fuck with the off people are actually going to mess with the offer you get what i'm saying so what about need water bro? and your offer also ties into like your target audience so if you're trying to target a fashion nigga so of course you want to also just think about the thing uh also just think about those things okay you just have to think about those things so now we on to the fourth and last one right the fourth and last one is literally the most important thing because if you don't do this one then you're literally cooked none of these things matter if you don't do this fourth one i promise you the fourth one everybody says this but it's so super duper important is hard work and consistency if you're not consistent and you're not putting in the grind none of this shit matter throughout the product throughout the marketing 
throw out the offering, throw out all that shit, your brand is still going to suck if you don't do the hard work and be consistent. If you want to sit around all day and not do what you got to do, but your brand not going to take off, you have to work hard, but the niggas who, the niggas who are up is the niggas who work hard, I promise you, literally, you need to grind and work hard, buddy, you need to actually try your ass off, bro, literally grind, grind, grind non-stop, work hard and be consistent, if you're working hard and being consistent and you have great marketing, and by the way, if your product is amazing, you just keep posting consistently, bro, you're good, bro, you be straight and your brand gonna take off, I promise you. The first mo, I'm gonna put these all in like importance, like what's important the most, right? I'm not gonna lie, your product matters the most. 95% of your time with your clothing brand should be on your product, bro. I swear to God, make an amazing product. I'm literally cooking in a lab because I'm finna drop some new pieces. And bro, I literally just been spending all time on my product because I really want my brain to go crazy. You get what I'm saying? So 95% of your time need to go to your product already off the rip. When you first start, all you needed, not even a name, the product, literally the product and what your brand, literally just your brand and your product. What is your product, right? And after you, you think you get down your product, think about what you're going to do for your marketing, right? How you going to market this product? Who do you need in this market? Who do you need in this product? How much money? You know what I'm saying? Think about all those things. What do you need for your drop to go crazy? You get what I'm saying? Like, think about that for your marketing. Do you need so-and-so in your hoodie? Do you need this aesthetic? Do you need this? Do you need that? Do you need just, do you need, what do you need, right? After that, right, it's literally just your offering thing about your, well, actually offering, that shit go last. I'm not gonna lie. After that, it's literally just hard work and literally just putting in the effort. I'm not gonna lie to offer and all that shit could go last to, to be honest. But literally just hard work and literally being consistent. Put in that grind, bro. Put in that grind and yes, you're going to go crazy. That's literally it. That's the foolproof plan. It's not that hard. It's really, really simple once you get it down. Literally the foolproof plan. Foolproof plan, bro. Those are the main things you want to focus on. Throw out everything other bullshit you had in your head. That's the main shit you want to focus on. Yes, you got the little. Yes, you got all the little stuff that involves with a business and a brand. But these are the key things that you need to get into your head, bro. Like literally, spend most of your time on a product. Spend most of your time on a product. Get that shit out the way. Boom. That's literally the first thing on the list. That's it, bro. Product marketing, hard work, and then boom, your offer. Be consistent, and then boom. That's literally it. This is a quick lead gem video for y'all boys. I haven't dropped it in a minute because I literally just been working on my brand nonstop. But yeah, I'm gonna drop more consistently. And I got this huge ass video. It's gonna be a long ass vlog. It's just a day, week, month. I don't know. It's gonna be either month, week, or life. I don't fucking know how to explain it. But finna go crazy. Finna be really consistent. I'm really trying to make my brand go crazy. So that's what I'm. That's my main focus. Is literally just my brand right now. But I gotta keep up with the tube. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep up with the tube. Tube my grind, right? If you need a manufacturer, make sure you hit my DMs, right? Hit my DMs on IG if you need a manufacturer and you want to know how to not get scammed and you know what the best way. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got a foolproof plan on how to get scammed and not how to wait long for shipping times. I literally got the foolproof plan. But if you need that, hit my DM, hit my IG. And yeah, finna catch y'all young boys. Are you for me? Do you see you for me? Ooh.